Hey everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa Bug Fitness and Yoga. Hope you're all doing great. This is a little short update on, I'm at 15 weeks post-op from total knee replacement. And I've had a new development. And I was hoping to post this video to see if any of you that are going through knee replacement or have gone through knee replacement have had a similar issue. I had started having some knee pain underneath the kneecap. And you know, as you're feeling a little bit better and you wanna start being more active, sometimes um, you have a little bit of a setback because you know, then the knee gets angry. So since I was feeling a little bit better after I got down here to Florida, I started going uh, to the Y and adding some body pump classes back to my schedule, which has quite a few squats in uh, the class. And also I went to two group cycling classes, 45 minute spinning classes. I also did a little bit of work in the pool, just kicking my leg back and forth. And after all of that, I started having some pain right underneath my kneecap. And I kind of rested it, ice of course, um, anything that I can think of elevation to kind of get this under control, my anti-inflammatories. Um, but after at least a week, this has not gotten better. So I emailed my physical therapist back in Minneapolis, Shania, told her kind of my symptoms and asked her if she knew maybe what was going on. And she said that she thought that maybe, and this is uh, what usually happens, if you're having pain underneath the kneecap is it could be impingement or compression of the fat pad. This is also called Hoffa's fat pad. So apparently um, there is a fat pad that resides um, down underneath that patellar tendon. And the role of it is to kind of nourish the knee. It acts as a shock absorber, helps the kneecap to glide properly. And sometimes with certain uh, overuse syndromes or also if you had a blow to the knee, you fell on your knee, this might happen, that fat pad can get irritated and inflamed. And then usually when you're fully extending your leg, then you can have some sharp pains underneath your kneecap. And for me, these are very sharp. And it usually happens as I'm taking a step forward and I start to bend that knee as I'm striding through, I just felt it. It's a sharp pain under the kneecap. So she said that might be what it is. She said avoid doing the bike riding for a while, see if it calms down. And then she said you might try taping your knee. And that's the reason I have KT tape on my knee today. I looked up a few videos on YouTube on this subject and watched how they did the taping. And there's a few different methods, but they're very similar. So I went ahead and tried the KT tape. And I've only had it on my knee for maybe, I'm gonna say three hours. I haven't seen really much improvement yet, but I wanna give it some time um, and see how that goes and ice it and that kind of thing. So my request is if any of you have been going through this same kind of problem, whether or not you've had knee replacement surgery, if you had problems with irritation of the fat pad or fat pad syndrome, it's also called infrapatellar fat pad, um, let me know, send me a comment on uh, this video. Be sure that you like and subscribe so that more people can get this information out. And uh, we just wanna keep on the right track after this knee replacement. And I feel this like is a little bit of a setback for me. so. Um, I'm just going to try to keep uh, taming it down, doing my quad exercises as my physical therapist recommended, and also try the taping. So if you have any other suggestions for me, something that worked for you, drop me a line. All right, stay strong, new warriors. I'll see you next time. Take care.